Hey everyone, Mike here and this is the Asus VivoBook S301, a 13-inch portable laptop with a touchscreen, Intel Haswell hardware and optional dedicated graphics that starts at around $700 in the US and about €700 Euros over here in Europe. But is it something worth looking at and eventually buying? Well, that you'll find out from this video, so let's get going. For starters, let me tell you that this is a fairly sleek and sturdy machine. It's not really as thoroughly polished as some of the premium ultrabooks you can find these days in stores, but for the money, it's definitely good enough. Aluminum is used for the upper part, the sides and the laptop's interior, while some rough plastic covers the underbelly, which by the way can be removed without voiding warranty by taking care of the 10 or so screws holding it in place, and that will allow you to access the internals in case you want to upgrade stuff here. Anyway, I don't really have much to complain about this laptop in terms of looks and build quality, nor can I complain about the footprint or weight, although you will find thinner and lighter 13-inch notebooks on the market, especially if you're willing to spend more on them. Opening the lid, you'll notice the metal dressed interior, as I mentioned earlier, that creates a nice contrast with the keyboard. The palm rest is spacious and that makes the S301 comfortable to use even for hours in a row, despite the fairly sharp edges. Anyway, let's turn our attention on the keyboard. The keys are large, properly spaced and stiff enough, so they will register commands even when pressed on the sides. At the same time, the rather shallow travel is something you will have to get used to, and there's no backlighting if you care about that. The layout is alright, with one exception. There are no dedicated home and end buttons, and you'll have to press Fn and the arrow keys for that, which by the way are very very small. As for the trackpad, it's smooth, properly sized and most of the time accurate, although I did find it somewhat oversensible, but that can be to some extent tweaked from the software. It supports all kinds of gestures, including those characteristic to Windows 8. And then there's the screen. If you're used to a premium monitor or if you care a lot about viewing angles or a non-glare finishing, this is not going to be the one for you. For the average user though, that only wants a decent display and doesn't have high expectations, this one will do. We have a 13-inch touchscreen on the S301 with 1366 by 768 pixel resolution and a TN panel and that translates in a rather low pixel density and not the best contrast or viewing angles. Regardless, as long as you'll keep the VivoBook mostly inside and on a desk, you're going to be fine with it. Otherwise, you might get annoyed by the reflective glass covering the screen and the fact that you can't completely lean back this display. All this being said, the S301 is more or less similar to all the VivoBooks we've seen in the past. And that's because the major update lies inside, where the laptop bundles the latest Intel ULV hardware platform and something on top. I have the most powerful configuration for this review, with an Intel Core i7-4500U processor, 8GB of RAM, AMD Radeon graphics and a 750GB hard drive. But there will be plenty of options available in stores, with Core i3, i5 and i7 CPUs, various types of storage and with or without dedicated graphics. I'll tell you more about those in the written review on ultrabookreview.com. There's a link towards that in the description just below the like button. I'll also have some benchmark results and a couple of other details in there, so you should definitely check it out. Overall though, the S301 can handle all sorts of tasks, from everyday activities like browsing or editing documents, to playing movies and games, and I'll tell you more about gaming on this VivoBook in a different clip. The good speakers definitely help with the multimedia experience, as they are punchy and clear. On top of that, you can adjust the sound output via the included Audio Wizard app. In fact, Asus does bundle a bunch of pre-installed programs on this laptop. Some can be useful, but most of them are what we call crapware, and should be uninstalled if you want to speed up your device. Speaking of that, the 5400 RPM hard drive without any SSD caching is a major bottleneck for this version of the S301, so if you do end up getting this laptop, you should definitely upgrade it. The laptop runs fairly cool and quiet most of the time, although it will heat up when really pushed. There is a fan inside and you'll always hear it spinning, slower or faster, based on what you're doing on the computer. The air is sucked from the bottom of the device and then blown out through the grills behind the screen's hinge towards the user. Connectivity-wise, the VivoBook S301 offers all the things you might expect from a laptop of its kind. There's wireless and Bluetooth, while on the sides you'll find three USB ports, an Ethernet connector, a card reader that can't completely fit a regular SD card and HDMI video output. VGA is missing, but you can use adapters if really needed. I should also mention that the wireless performance tends to drop fast when getting a bit further away from the router, with 4 or 3 walls in betweens. At 10 15 feet away from the router, though, with no obstacles, the S300 performed flawlessly. At the end of the day, Haswell is more about efficiency than it is about performances, and the S301 I had here proves that. With average daily use that included a mix of browsing, chatting, watching movies, and listening to music, all with Wi Fi on and the screen at 60%. I was able to get about 4.5 hours of life on the S301. That doesn't sound great, but don't forget that there's only a small full cell 38Wh battery on this machine and on top of that, 
we do have the most powerful configuration here, with the Intel Core i7 processor and the dedicated graphics. The Core i3 or i5 versions without the graphics should do significantly better. But of course, all this won't stop me from concluding that Asus should have squeezed a higher capacity battery on this machine. All in all, the Asus VivoBook S301 is a good 13-inch laptop. It lacks some of the fancy features encountered on premium ultrabooks like a high-resolution IPS screen or the backlit keyboard and is not as slick or as slender as those. But it doesn't have any real deal breakers either, and with prices going between $700 and $1000 at launch, I'd say it offers plenty for the money, especially since it is one of the few 13-inch ultra portables packing dedicated graphics. The S301 is not without competition though. The Lenovo IdeaPad U330 or the Samsung Series 9 Lite are just some of the newer ones plus many of the Ivy Bridge mid-range ultrabooks that sell for as little as $600 these days. At the end of the day, if you want a fast and solid 13-inch Haswell laptop and don't have a lot of money to spend on it, the Asus VivoBook S301 is for sure an option to consider. But if Haswell or the graphics are not at the top of your list, you will find more affordable alternatives out there or sleeker ones that pack extra features for the same kind of money. Anyway, that's about it for now. Thank you guys for watching and if you have any questions about this laptop or other ultra portables in general, leave them below. And also check out the reviews, the guides and the comparisons at ultrabookreview.com. And of course, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed the clip. Either way, thanks again and I'll see you in the next video.